Welcome. In today's episode, we're going to look at how the FDA is looking to shut down at-home biohacking. This is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net, and let's get right into this. Alright, let's start at the beginning. Biohackers. They are a new segment of our society that are doing at-home genetic engineering. I mean, really, these are people at home in their own homemade labs that are editing the genetic code of plants, animals, bacteria, and even human beings. And I want to look at why that's so crazy. It was only like two months ago that researchers were able to edit out a genetic mutation in human embryos. About a month ago in the UK, researchers were able to shut off certain genes in a developing embryo. And about two weeks ago was the first time that they'd ever used CRISPR in a live human being. And if you don't know, CRISPR is a genetic editing tool that basically unzips DNA, removes the part you don't want, and inserts whatever DNA you want put in its place. In fact, it wasn't that long ago, like a couple weeks, I guess, that we actually saw this happening in this video here. That's the first time we were able to image this, ever. On the other hand, the at-home biohacking movement came up with a gene therapy to treat HIV at home and was injected into a patient back in October. While this was based on a promising gene therapy being studied in labs, it is nowhere near going to human trials yet. And last month, Josiah Zayner edited his own genes inside his own body. Again, beating professional researchers to the punch. Now, Josiah is an actual biochemist who used to work for NASA before he decided, you know, screw you guys, I'm going home. And it's crazy to think, people all over the world were able to watch Josiah edit his own genes on Facebook. Can you see how ridiculous this is getting? And realistically, this isn't even hard to do. You can buy your own gene editing kit online at sites like Odin or AdGene. So you can start playing with CRISPR at home, at your kitchen table if you want. Heck, the site Odin will sell you everything you need to start a full genetic editing lab for less than $1,600. And they'll also sell you the stuff that you need to edit human DNA. This is nuts. Well, now all this has caught the attention of the FDA which don't get me wrong, they've known about these genetic editing kits and whatnot. They've been letting it slide pretty much. All except for this one case where people were selling a kit to edit jellyfish DNA into yeast so you could produce at home glowing beer. I'm not sure I would drink glowing beer by the way. They did have something to say about that because technically it became a food additive when you're using it to make beer and that is completely within the realm of their control. But seriously, if you want to at home, you can edit in jellyfish DNA to your homebrew beer and have a glowing pint. Even as I say it, it sounds batshit, doesn't it? Well, now the FDA is paying more attention and I think it might have something to do with the guy who had his buddies make a gene therapy to treat his HIV. The problem with it is, their research was sponsored by an actual medical company. And even that company is a little shady because they offer things called medical tourism. It's like they're part supporters of genetic editing and the other part travel agents. But because their research was done with funding from this group, without the approval of the FDA, it gets into their territory. I mean, because really the FDA cannot stop you from editing your own genes. What you do to yourself is what you do to yourself. Just keep in mind what you do to yourself may not be able to be reversed. And that's the craziest part about this. Anyway, in a statement released by the FDA on Tuesday, they said they were aware of the CRISPR kits and aware of the companies that are selling them. And while they can't do anything to stop you, they are looking into how to stop the sales of these kits in the United States. I'm not one for big government oversight. But on the other hand, think about this. That $1,500 kit comes with complete instructions. So even if you know nothing about genetic editing, it will walk you through the process step by step. Does that really sound safe in the hands of somebody who's not trained? And I do realize that government intervention slows down scientific advances. But is it safe to have someone at home experimenting on their pet dog and trying to make them glow in the dark? And that's where I'm gonna leave it up to you. What do you think? Is this somewhere the government should step in? or should they just mind their own business and let these people edit themselves any way they want? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, how about you hit that like button? And heck, while you're down there, go ahead and click that subscribe so you can get interesting news five days a week. I wanna thank everybody for stopping in, and until next time, have fun and be safe.